Hello, my name is Ken Irvin. I'm chair of the Aquatic Ecosystems Group at UNESCO IHE in the Netherlands. And today is the International Day for the Eradication of Poverty. One of the main features of our work is looking at the integrity of ecological wetlands uh, and the use of wetlands in terms of both their provisioning services, i.e. food, shelter, um, provisions for building uh, material, and also regulating services to do with their ecological function. Many, many poor people in the world rely directly on wetland provisioning for their livelihoods, and wetlands are probably the most de degraded, and they unfortunately continue to be degraded uh, at a very alarming rate, uh, a monotonic decline of wetland conditions since the 1970s, when records um, started to be collected. Degradation of wetlands, likely leads directly to increased pressures on the poorest in society and the destruction of natural resources is usually felt most acutely by uh, the poorest in society. Examples are very clear. The mangrove forests, which are coastal wetland systems, have a hugely important role in protecting against uh, extreme storm events, reduction of mangroves, leads to reduction of protection and very much the marginalised communities are those people who live in low-lying, um, flood-prone areas uh, in coastal zones. And so there's a direct relationship between the reduction of mangroves and, for example, mortalities to do with uh, um, large-scale climatic events such as typhoons and tsunamis. And it's the poor which suffer the most in these situations. Wetlands are often converted in for agriculture, and it's not necessarily the poorest in society who benefit from that, but larger commercial concerns, again, the poor being marginalised. So the simple message is that if we are concerned about poverty, we should also be concerned about the ecosystems that support the livelihoods of the people who need them. Thank you.